My name is David Beacom. I'm the publisher for the National Science Teachers Association, and I'm um, on the a co-chair of this group. It's hard. It's hard to remember the name of the new group. It is so. I so I have to look at my notes of the AAP Pre-K-12 Learning Group Executive Council. We'll have a group a group sing about that afterwards. Um, before I begin, I would like to uh, take this moment to acknowledge my fellow Executive Council members, many of whom have never met each other. So will you all please stand? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Tonight it's my privilege to present the no. Member Awards, and I've been asked to note that that most of the photography will occur after the event because of this wonderful mirrored background. <laughs> so you'll just see our shadows. Um, I've been involved with AEP and AAP for many years, both as a member and as a board member. And I really understand the importance of member involvement. While the staff works really hard to give you the programs and products and services you want and need, that can only happen with input from the membership. For example, members lead and serve on committees, they create the theme and content for, the, for our conference, provide feedback on policy issues, offer advice on awards, judge entries at all levels, and host events for industry gatherings. When you praise AAP programs, you're praising the members. So it is right tonight that we recognize two standout individuals who have helped make our industry a true community. First, I would like to present the Member of the Year Award given to a company or individual who has provided outstanding support and, you know, noise effects, um, to the entire organization. And this year's recipient is Ira Wolfman. Correct. He's, he's president and chief consultant for POE, not P-O-E, POE Communications. As many of you know, Ira has selflessly given his time, expertise, and support to the learning group through countless transitions, and we've had quite a few transitions recently. To choose just a few examples, during the many years he has worked on the awards program, formerly AAEP Awards, now Revere, he helped design, redesign the program, refocus it on areas that are most important to parents and children, and um, uh, reconfigured the Lamplighter honors as well, finding a new and more thoughtful way to celebrate our entire industry. In addition to all this work, Ira has been available for advice on member services, um, like the Career Center, and provided staff with timely news and updates on important industry trends. Ira, and he's one of my favorite guys, Ira, you set an example not only for other board directors, but for all members who wonder how they might get involved helpfully and productively with the learning group. These are just a few of the reasons why I'm honored to present the Member of the Year Award to Ira Wolfman. I have a 95-page speech, I hope you'll bear with me. <laughs> Thanks, David. Um, I'm really honored to be included in this evening's celebration of leadership with such other wonderful honorees. Um, I want to point out that this award is chosen by the staff of the Pre-K-12 Learning Group of the American Association of Publishers. Um, excuse me, Association of American Publishers. I want to talk just for a minute about the staff because they are a small band of intrepid professionals who work so hard and care so much about this organization's goals and mission. 
Tom has already stolen a little bit of my thunder on this, but I, I, I want to go on because these, those of us on the inside, and I've been a board member for the past four years, know the tremendous amount of work that they do, unsung, unseen and often unsung. These are crucial tasks required to keep our group going. So, as my first act as the official member of the year, I would like to take this moment to thank officially all the staff for what you do. Susan, Stacy, and I'd like you to stand up if you don't mind. Susan, Stacy, Linda, Dave, Joanne, Aline, Laura, Brittany, John. And I understand I can't get this award two years running, so that was not just like, you know, <laughs> kissing up. Um, I also want to say thanks to Jay and Julie and the rest of the AAP team for your support and guidance over this time. This award is really meaningful to me because it recognizes a crucial partnership, which is really between the members and the staff. Um, we take on together tasks to build a stronger, smarter, more responsive, and richer educational resource community. And we couldn't do it without them, and they couldn't do it without us, and it really works beautifully. This organization has been part of my life for more than 20 years. Um, over that time, Jake, I've only been around for the 20 years of it, but I know that um, it, I, I first joined, it was the Educational Press, it was Ed Press, and then we went to the Association of American of Educational Publishers, and now we're the Pre-K Learning Group. The staff has changed in that time, the location of the headquarters has changed multiple times. We were at Rowan State College, we were in suburban New Jersey, we moved to Wilmington, Delaware, now we're back in Philadelphia. Um, so there's been a lot of change, and all of this, I think, is totally consistent with the times we live in. Um, as members of this community, we're constantly challenged to keep up with the new developments that are rippling across schools, across our media, across technology, and importantly, across our notion of what needs to be done in order to make learning truly successful, which is our mission, of course. I think it's a thrilling moment to be part of this community, to be pushed to create innovative and excellent materials for a constantly churning world, to reinvent without ever losing sight of what's important, what we do. The challenges are great, and I think they're terrifying to some of us, maybe a lot of us, um, but the opportunity is tremendous. And after all, we know that constant change is a reality we'll be living with for the rest of our lives. Which leads me to close with an intriguing quotation I found from a former president of this organization, or at least the educational press, Ed Press. The era we're in, this person said, gives us a chance, quote, to spark the knowledge explosion and promote new technologies and techniques. She goes on to remind us that this is totally consistent with what we do. Quote, long before change became the shocking element in our lives, we in our, in our industry were laying the foundation for that change. Those words were written by Eva Green. She was president of Ed Press in 1941 and 1942. So while the challenges are huge, they're not really unprecedented. It's great to be part of this wonderful organization that helps us navigate it, and I thank you all for this, for this honor.